So in the last episode, I added a bunch of stuff to my base in order to keep it working smoothly, generating enough power and getting enough water and keeping it cool. Um, I made a couple of mistakes. It turns out a desalinator can, you can put polluted water and regular water through a desalinator and it just goes right through it the same way clean water goes through a water sieve. So there's absolutely no reason for me to have all of this extra plumbing. Just, I'm just going to tear that out because that is really a lot of extra complication that's totally unnecessary. And I'll put in that desalinator the smart way, the simple way. Smart guy in the comments in my last video was like, the desalinator just has this stuff go straight through it. So that's fixed. Another thing that I noticed that I did where I take hydrogen out of my sushi belt loop right there. So I put it into this pipe, the pipe that goes from the filter into my hydrogen reservoir. If I put a bubble of hydrogen in this pipe, it can either go this way to that input or that way to that input. And that's that's not gonna work right. I'm gonna take out those ventilation pipes and I'll put in two bridges. So a bridge here to take input from the filter where my hydrogen normally gets in and a bridge there to take input from the sushi belt. So I'll connect the sushi belt to that one and the filter to that one. And their outputs both go into the same pipe. Yeah, I made a lot of mistakes in the last video. Uh, so I spent a lot of time setting this up. It's for cooling my base. Uh, you know, liquid comes in this way, goes through the aqua tuner, makes heat. The heat is eaten by the steam generator and uh, it goes out through this pipe and it's cool, so it cools my base off. So the mistake that I made is, um, this is a gold amalgam aqua tuner. It doesn't interact with steam quickly enough to keep itself cool. Um, it'll heat up to above 175 degrees Celsius and overheat and things will break. I'm gonna have to crack into this again and fix it so that I can use a gold amalgam aqua tuner for this task and it will stay sufficiently cool. I think that's just a matter of putting it in a thin layer of oil because it will interact with the oil quickly enough to cool itself down. So I'm gonna pound this out as fast as I can because we're going to space today. We're making steel, we're going to space. I'm pretty sure that's all of the mistakes that I made. I'm gonna need an airlock. I'm gonna need to add another layer in there to make room for the oil. So I'll take the floor out of this and I'll have, this will be the new bottom. This is the bottom of the airlock. We'll put the top of the airlock there. So I've gotta put water in that and that project has started. Like I said, we're going to space today. I need to start making steel. And I have a way that I like to set up a metal refinery so that it doesn't just generate tons of heat with a steam turbine, surprise, and petroleum for the coolant. I'm gonna put it on the floor above my petroleum over here. Metal refinery will go one, two, three, four, about right here. And then I'm gonna have a steam turbine right next to it. Oh god, that's super inconvenient, isn't it? Because my dupes can't run in from the right if there's stuff there. I'm going to put... There should be plenty of room. I think I'm just going to put the, uh, the steam turbine stuff above that. I have active cooling now, so the heat shouldn't be a problem over here anymore for a steam turbine right up here. So this will be a steam room. I am going to still need an airlock. There's my airlock. put water in there. All right, that's a lot of work for them to get started on. I need a nice radiant liquid pipe, copper or lead. I'm going to put a copper radiant pipe in here, and that's so that the petroleum gives up its heat to the steam. Petroleum that I'm using to cool my metal refinery. And these come down in insulated pipes. If that's happening, this other project, this is happening. Take out those, take out all these buildings, and I guess the automation as well. Damage overheated, what's going on? There it is, getting overheated. <gasps> 206 degrees? Wow, it's awful. I could just turn it off, I guess. Turn it off if it's above zero. That'll do it. Gonna make some steel. You know what else we need? We need to go dig out some the materials I need for steel. Fossil to make lime, and there's coal. And I think there's some iron in here too, so this is a pretty good place to go do that. That 
guy is going to need power. Still waiting for more water over here. I'll need to run a pipe through this steam turbine room in order to keep it cool. So where's my cooling pipe? That's enough water. All right, let's dig in there. <gasps> ah, canceled that for now. Put that tile back in. The regular tile will be fine. Oh, we can take out these tiles. The problem that's going to happen is my water is going to run across the bottom of this, and uh, there won't be enough left to keep my airlock happy. that block is in to keep my water lock working so I can take that out and we're almost ready to put in the new aqua tuner. I'm going to stick with the gold amalgam because I know it can be done properly. So I want this cooling loop working so I'm going to get that pipe in right now. Plumbing is in, power in. So I'd like to put a couple of temp shift plates in here as well. I have to put a little bit of oil in this room. So I'm going to put a bottle emptier there, and I want a couple of temp shift plates there, there, because a gold amalgam aqua tuner needs some extra cooling. Let's go find some oil that I can put in that. This bottle emptier, crude oil, and I just need some oil that I can, oh, I know. I'll just mop up some of this oil. We need the liquid pipe thermo sensor, and I'll put a thermo sensor right next to that. The oil's in. I don't need that anymore. Oh, I don't need this anymore either. We need a liquid pipe thermo sensor. Uh, filter gate to stop from turning on and off a lot, and it needs automation wires. Oh, actually, no, this one needs a not gate. I think that's it, so let's just get that built. I'll set it all to priority six. Oh, my farms. Okay, that's because I just deconstructed these pipes. Steel production. So I used lead for these radiant pipes. Where the heck did all my lead go? Ah, that's the problem. So the sand is blocking me from my plastic bin and also all the leads in here. That explains it. All right, that's in. Now I just have to figure out how to close this up. I'm gonna sweep this stuff out. And we'll build these tiles. We'll make sure this thermo sensor turns the thermo aqua tuner off if the temperature is above. Let's go with 140. And this one will turn it off if the water going through the pipe is below 14 degrees. Oh, wait a minute. I just thought of something that is happening. All right, so check this out. My my carbon skimmers, this this was probably a bad way to set this up, but that's this is how it is. My carbon skimmers put their polluted water into this pipe, and I'm trying to get rid of it by putting it into the cooling loop. Since the cooling loop gets refreshed here, like the pipe is full from here forward, and there's nowhere for the polluted water from the carbon skimmers to go. What's the right way to deal with this? Well, I want to use the polluted water from the carbon skimmers first, because I don't want this pipe to just back up. I need, to, I need that to be empty, and if I have enough polluted water from the carbon skimmers, then there's no reason to use the water out of this anyway. So I could take the water out of the cooling loop between these things, and that would work. Okay, that's not bad. Let's just do that. And that'll fix that problem. Make sure my dupes do that quickly because I don't want my water supply to be cut off. There's a problem. I need to make sure this loop goes the right direction. So I gotta take that out and put a bridge in. Yeah, that should do it. 
That's good. I know I just made a giant mess. Gonna clean this stuff up. This should be finished now. I'm gonna deconstruct that block, all these blocks. The cooling situation should be fixed. My cooling loop is done. Now we're focusing on the steel. Let's make the steel. We need to get that out. Start putting water in this. The steam turbine needs to be connected to some kind of power. I'll use a power transformer for that. Food shortage is getting real. But look at all the mealwood I have. I'm about to harvest. I think we're okay. Maybe I should make a few more mealwood because I am running it pretty lean. That's going to be a problem. The natural gas will come up here and make my make my mealwood not grow. All these problems in my base. We're going to space. We're going to space. I'm going to make all of this just ventilation tiles. Mealwood. My aqua tuner will no longer overheat. It looks like it's working. So what's happening in this here is if it's sitting in a little bit of oil, the oil interacts with the aqua tuner fast enough to keep it cool. The temp shift plates in here, they can reach the oil and they can reach all of the steam. So they keep the, the temperature nice and even. My dupes are running on these. I don't think I need them. I think it's just a matter of me getting the settings wrong. I'm gonna disable those buildings. Where's that water coming from? Oh, why is there always something? Actually, wait a minute. I don't want my dupes doing extra things right now. I don't like, is that harmful in any way? They're wearing Atmo suits. It doesn't hurt them to walk through water. It just goes down into the Lake of Doom. I'm just gonna let it overflow. We can work on it later after we've been to space because we're going to space. I wanna close up my steam turbine room. I need plumbing for the vent. I'm gonna put in some radiant pipes here so I can get the cooling near my farms. There's a couple other things I need to start making steel. I need a, a rock crusher thing so that I can turn all of that fossil and eggshells and everything into lime. I'll fit right here. There's my rock crusher thing and I also need a kiln so that I can make refined carbon because those are all of the ingredients for steel. We need iron ore. We've got two tons of it. That's That's good enough for now. So this setup is super simple. It's just a pipe through a room of steam. Oh, you know what? I have to get the gases out. I literally just did a video for how to make a vacuum. I'm just going to do it my favorite way. Let's build a bunch of tiles in there. I totally expected this setup to scrub all of the heavy gases out of my base quite quickly. So here's my rock crusher. Eggshell the lime forever. Fossil the lime forever. Refined carbon. Let's start making some of that also. Oh, geez. I got to turn off my coal generators. Yeah, otherwise my coal is all going to get burned. Now I can close up my steam turbine room. All right, steel production. We're so close. Once I have all this set up to just make steel as fast as it can, uh, then I'll start digging up to go to space. In case you don't know, you need steel in space in order to make bunker doors because meteor showers happen and you need bunker doors to stop them from destroying everything. The natural gas is encroaching on my farms. You know what the problem is? Like all this natural gas should be more compressed, but I can't seem to get my, my oxygen pressure up very high. I've been having this problem for a long while. Like I get my, my electrolyzer gets to max gas pressure and it just doesn't produce as much as I want it to. I mean, look at how much airflow there is. All these airflow tiles are like 10 tiles wide. How come the oxygen doesn't just come out of there? This natural gas is going to become a problem. I'm not real keen on this, but pump it into the sushi belt. Fabulous sushi belt use. And that'll send it to the natural gas generator and get rid of it. This is a temporary thing, so I'm not going to put a bunch of automation on here or anything like that. I need to get these these tiles in so I can get my, my steel production going. The way I'm making a vacuum here is I'm just filling it up with tiles and behind an airlock. And then when I dig the tiles out, there's, there's no gases because it was full of tiles. Oh, actually I'm done because there's no gases there. It's water. Now I can dig out all of those tiles and it'll be a vacuum.
That's good enough for me. Let's start making stuff. I'm going to turn all of my iron ore into iron, and I'll just make steel as fast as I can also. I need to fill the cooling loop there with petroleum. I'm going to put in a bridge here so I can get the petroleum out. This goes up, bridges over, goes up to here, and bridges in. Wake up and get to work, dupes. We're going to make steel. Making steel, going to space. I might need a second natural gas generator to take care of the amount of natural gas that I'm I'm producing with these things. Well, that's an easy thing to add. I'll do it. Pretty painless. We can connect the petroleum now. There. There. So for anybody who doesn't know, metal refineries, they take coolant, it goes in, it comes out, and it comes out a lot hotter than it goes in. If you use petroleum like I'm doing, I'm filling it up with petroleum right now, petroleum has a really high range for how hot it can get before it changes state into sour gas. Uh, it could actually run through the metal refinery three times, four times, I don't know, before it got too hot that it would be a problem. But if I run it through the water up here, which will be steam, it'll heat up the steam and the steam turbine will run. Petroleum is coming out at 140 degrees. It's going in here and warming up the water. Do we have any steel yet? Nope. We're making steel. It's all set up. So now go to space. Got to keep water off of my vent, my ventilation so it doesn't block. And it's hard to see when it's on airflow tiles. This water is just going to keep running out there. I'm going to put a mesh tile right here to stop that, at least for now, because I'm not doing major fixes. We're going to space. I need enough room down here in the Lake of Doom to fit the amount of salt water I'm about to dump into it. Well, I mean, we could fill it all the way up to here, so it's definitely okay. Through that salt water to dump into it, through that salt water to dump into it, into space. <laughs> ah, we have 300 kilograms of steel. It's happening. Oh, you know what the big problem over here is? Is my, my petroleum generator is making polluted water. It's going to fill up anything. Like, it'll fill up this hole, and uh, it's still going to be a problem over here with my ventilation. In fact, I wonder if that's why I'm having so much trouble with this natural gas and stuff. Is because this ventilation, these airflow tiles just always get blocked by a layer of water. So I need to make a way for that water to run down into the pit of despair. I guess I can just dig out a hole like that. I need to put some ladders in here so they can reach it all. There we go. That'll do the job. And that'll keep that, that water from running across. My airflow tiles like that. They haven't made any progress on this. We're going to space, guys. We're going. Do it. That's a pretty long commute, but I've never, I've always used a regular ladder to go to space for the first time, so I'm sure it'll be fine. About to break through, going to space. There it goes. Whoosh. Let's see it pile up way down here at the bottom. There it is. Oh yeah, it'll fall all the way through to the bottom. <gasps> Pressure damage, but who cares? That can get destroyed and I'm okay with it. Except that my dupes are gonna run down there and fix it all the time. Disable auto repair, disable auto repair. My airflow tile's clear. They are so far. Looks like we broke through the next saltwater lake. Yep. I've been sandboxing stuff for how to deal with the steam vent and it's a lot harder than I expected. Well, I mean, if you just eat the steam with the steam turbine, it's easy, but you end up wasting a lot of potential power that way. The amount of energy that comes out with 500 degree steam, all right, that's a fairly good one. I think we would need five, uh, more. We'd need five steam turbines all working at the same time at their capacity to consume this much energy while it's erupting. Five steam turbines on, on one steam vent is that's a kind of a big production. This is going to be a big old thing. I figured out some ways to slow it down so that you can eat the steam while it's not erupting, but it gets surprisingly complicated quite quickly. I think I'm going to end up using door compressors to stuff the hot steam into a room so that I can just turn on steam turbines when I need to instead of immediately in order to prevent the steam uh, vent from being over pressure and just losing all the energy regardless. And of course, I'll make a video because because it turns out to be a cool, advanced, complicated thing. I really like making videos like that. Making steel. Output pipe full. Not making steel. Something has malfunctioned.
The metal refinery is all full of coolant and the pipe is so full of coolant that it can't move. I need to deconstruct one bubble's worth of pipe in this so there's enough room for the petroleum to go through. But I don't want petroleum spilling into my base right now. I'm going to do it and I'm going to mop up that petroleum right away. I'm just going to let it sit in the bottles so it doesn't go out into my base anywhere. Now we should be able to reconnect this pipe and have everything work. Seriously, output pipe is still full. I wonder how much I have to take out. I know that the reservoir can load new coolant in while coolant is going out. I guess let's just do another one. Put that pipe back in. Maybe all we needed is two. That happens sometimes with some devices. My cooling pipe sure doesn't have much in it. Using the cooling pipe for my water distribution didn't turn out to be a very good idea, did it? The problem is my carbon skimmers are sending out little bubbles all the time. And so it's going in my cooling pipe and the little bubbles are blocking the big bubbles coming in and refilling it. So all I've really got to do is get rid of the little bubbles. I did a video about that also. How to stack packets. It's nothing but one kind of one one element so I can just put a liquid valve and a liquid shut off right next to each other like this and make sure the liquid shut off is just turned on all the time and an easy way to do that is with a knot gate and that should do the job look at how redundant this is I'm sending it way over here to the pipe it's going into the pipe and then coming right back <laughs> I'm not gonna fix that for now you know why because we're going to space is this guy working yet output pipe full. I'm going to put a tile in over here so that when I deconstruct all these petroleum pipes, it doesn't go anywhere into my base. Right now, I sure wish I knew how metal refineries worked with the output pipe full thing. Let's deconstruct a bunch of these. And put them back in. Let's see how my journey to space is going. Ooh, we're almost there. No, we're not. <laughs> Look at how far it is. Just gotta go to space. We have enough steel to do a couple of bunker doors, so this isn't actually a super high priority. We really just need to get to space. All right, so that, it's still not working? I must have like a whole extra pipe worth of petroleum, which means I bet I'm pretty close now. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Uh-oh, my farms are messed up because it's low pressure. Okay. Oh no, the problem was my, my water supply got cut off because of that whole thing with the carbon skimmers. So it didn't have any water to produce oxygen with. I could put a I could put a gas pipe over here as well. Harvest that natural gas. Let's put it in like a temporary thing at the moment. We're gonna break in any moment. This could be it. That's it. So let's deconstruct that and put it in an airlock. Can I put an airlock in there? Right here. I love those shovels for meat. They produce a lot of it. The cool thing about farming shovels is they never get overcrowded. You can have a thousand of them in the same stable and it, it works. It's allowed. And they eat regolith. Regolith falls from the sky in these meteors. Farm is having a problem. The natural gas doesn't seem to be bothering it. It just needs higher pressure. We're going to have to kill the hatches and eat them. We need pressure. This is getting max pressure up here still. I think I've learned my lesson. <laughs> Put some tiles in. It does seem like there's a lot more oxygen flowing downward through this now. I think that'll do the job. Space. Starvation. Plenty of calories. Who's starving? <gasps> She's stuck. Oh god. She's almost out of air. <gasps> oh no! She's gonna die! Don't, don't do it. Okay, now she's suffocating. Okay. Don't starve, Ellie. Where's the calories thing? Go eat. Go eat.
No, go eat. Make it. You're going to make it. Eat it. Ah, oh, success. All right, let's not have that happen to another person. Regolith has a tendency to fall down these ladders, so if it stacks up on top of the door, then it'll, you know, kill them because they can't get out. How's the pressure down here doing? Okay, it's it's uh, it's picking up. I think we'll get there. This pump is just taking out oxygen now, so I'm going to get rid of it. Whoops. Oh, that's just great. I'm going to keep building this ladder up uh, because it's good to put your bunker doors way up high so that you have more room underneath them. Our farms are back in order. What do we got? Okay, pressure. All right, we're still working on the pressure a little bit, but it's getting there. This is still not working. I haven't even looked at it in a bit because of the whole farm crisis. It can't go on forever. I'm actually going to need more steel soon. I bet I have to get rid of the entire contents of the metal refinery. There's 170 kilograms left. That's not too bad, right? So the whole system's working quite nicely. Good enough for me. Are you serious? They got hit by a meteor. Ladders work even when they're broken, so it doesn't matter so much. Um, okay, there's the top of the map right there. So I want to leave enough room on top of that so that I the, the regolith has room to pile up. I don't know what happens if regolith piles up off the top of the map. I hope you don't just lose it. I want the regolith. I'll start building those bunker doors. So you can fit 64 bunker doors across the entire top of the map. I don't want them to be aligned wrong. Basically, I want to align it with the edge of the map. So I'm actually going to count over. Definitely don't go all the way over to the side of the map yet. Oh, I do. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can count from there. No, I can't, but I can almost see it. All I have to do is go a little farther. I'm going to dig over right here. Yeah, that's perfect. Once I can see where the edge of the map ends, then I can align my bunker tile. Deconstructing and reconstructing 64 bunker tires, tiles is a giant pain in the butt, so I want to get it right the first time. Let's put a level... I'm going to put it way down here, so that when I can upgrade to Thermium, I can just build everything above it. We're going to run out of lime first, so we need fossil. whole bunch of fossil right there. I can put in tiles and then dig it out from below. Let's go check out the side of the map and put our bunker doors in the right spot. Here we go. Oh, they already dug it out. Awesome. So we can go... That's the last square on the map. One, two, three, four. Okay, we need a bunker door that sticks out one tile to the right of the ladder. right there and the bunker doors will be aligned with the side of the map and i'm just going to build ladders across here so that my dupes can reach the bunker doors and build them we're in space we have steel those were the goals. And uh, episode six will have to be setting up space for the first time. Here it goes. Here it goes. The first bunker door. Ta-da. Here's a meteor shower. Anybody who hasn't seen one. I think we're done for now everybody so next time and start putting in all the stuff for uh for space with a goal of setting up some solar panels